I'm 62, have $800,000 and will receive $2,600 monthly from Social Security. What's my retirement bud? Get. Dot. Smart asset. Planning for retirement can be both exciting and challenging. Figuring out how much you can realistically spend each year is a key piece of that puzzle. For example, a 62-year-old with $800,000 in savings and a monthly Social Security benefit of $2,600 can reasonably expect an annual income of $63,200 in retirement. Figuring out how the post I'm 62, have $800,000 and will receive $2,600 monthly from Social Security. What's my retirement budget? Appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. Retirement should happen when the desire to work for a living wanes, coupled with confidence in FINA. NCIAL Security. It's crucial to distinguish between retirement and unemployment. Leaving a job without financial stability doesn't constitute retirement. Modern retirement transcends the daily grind, enabling pursuits of passion and personal time. Options abound, from writing books to starting businesses or teaching. Personally, I chose to invest in stocks three years prior to retirement with guidance from an adviso. R. A decision I appreciate. The 7% to 10% monthly return on investment is truly gratifying. If you have 800k in investments, you do not need a large emergency fund. I am retired and have a significant IRA balance. I just keep cash in a money market account. In the IRA, getting 5%. If I ever need money, I take a distribution and have it within a day. I always cringe when I hear, see the advice to hold off on social security. I've had to many friends never make it to 65 to 67. Heck my financial guy just passed away at 64. Take it as soon as you can and invest it, you'll probably more than make up for the lesser amounts. The government actuaries know your odds of not collecting and collecting less or higher the longer. You put off getting SS. The commonly used 4% safe withdrawal rate guideline calls for withdrawing 4% of your savings in the First year of your retirement and adjusting that number for inflation thereafter. Guidance by a good advisor would point out you can, without withdrawing a cent of your savings. If that's enough on top of Social Security for your needs, which can easily be the case if you own a mortgage free home and live in a reasonable property tax location, you can invest the other $400, zero. OO in stocks, preferably in relatively safe, stalwart stocks or in S&P 500. Additional $40,000 in profit per year, most which will have a 15% capital gains tax rate only after. You sell a stock or fund, not each year. You're only taxed on the distributions from funds or stock dividends each year otherwise you would be e wise to read up on retirement investing. Studies show that hiring a financial advisor for uncomplicated finances is usually a financially loss. Ing proposition. Just spend your money on wild women, travel, beer, and anything else you like. You only live once. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.